Well, hello boys and girls, it's been a hot minute, around right about a month now. I apologise that I haven't been uploading recently, I have had no motivation whatsoever and I've said before that I don't like putting out videos just for the sake of putting out videos. I would rather wait until I'm actually motivated and inspired and actually have something to talk about, otherwise I feel like it's pretty obvious that I'm just talking for the sake of talking. So hopefully this will be me back on a semi-regular basis. If not, just know that I'm never gone forever unless I say I'm gone forever. Like I won't just ever disappear for no reason whatsoever. So while I was away, it was announced that San Diego Comic Con, I think it was, it was a Comic Con. One of the many virtual Comic Cons that have been happening over the past few months while the Panini has been happening. And it was announced at San Diego Comic Con that both Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall will be leaving Doctor Who in 2023 or 2022 actually, no it's, it's next year 2022, they'll be leaving the program and obviously this was met with mixed reactions. There's people who are sad, people who are rejoicing, people who are being assholes about it on both sides and I figured I should throw my thoughts into the ring because I've been pretty vocal about the fact that I did not like Chris Chibnall's era and I was not a fan of the idea of a female doctor in the first place. I never had any problems with Jodie Whittaker as an actress. I just didn't agree with the whole concept of a female doctor in the first place. So I felt like it's in keeping with my channel to sort of give my thoughts on the fact that they're both going now. I'm never going to be an asshole about something, or at least I'm going to try to never be an asshole about something. I'm not going to rejoice the fact that Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker are leaving the programme. For one thing, it's a very childish behaviour, and that is actually something with, that I find in many fans who actually share the same opinions as me on the show. The people who don't like Jodie and don't like a female doctor and don't like Chris Chibnall's era, they tend to be very childish about it and they act like weans and they plaster their complaints all over the internet in a very babyish manner like they act like children they act like my five-year-old nephew when he's having a tantrum about it and it's unnecessary it is not needed there is no point in rejoicing the fact that someone is leaving a program because it's just unnecessary and, like I say, it's the behaviour of a child. Whether I agree with it or not, Jodie Whittaker made history on the show. Jodie Whittaker was the first female doctor. I had never seen Jodie Whittaker in a lot. I think I saw her in one thing. Well, technically Centrinians, but I didn't know that that was her at the time. But I also seen her in a Black Mirror episode, The Entire History of You, I think it was. And I didn't have any particular feelings towards her, so... I don't think that she went on to the show trying to ruin it. Of course she didn't. She went on to the show trying to make history and trying... She clearly thought that what she was doing was the right decision for her career and she thought it was the right direction for the show and whether I agree with it or not, she definitely didn't enter the show with malicious intent. And for that, I can't be angry at her for being on the show and I can't... And I'm not going to, like celebrate the fact that she is now leaving. Chris Chibnall, again, I'm not going to celebrate someone leaving because I disagree with how they have done things. I'm not going to celebrate the fact that he's leaving just because I don't like his writing and I don't like the direction he took the show and I think a lot of the decisions that he made for the show don't make sense in terms of the character of the Doctor, the storylines he introduced and basically the whole twist at the end of the most recent series, the whole Timeless Child fiasco, was just lazy writing in my in my opinion like there was no real thought put into it it was like he kind of went I know what will trick the audiences and didn't really consider where the plot holes were going to come in but even with all that being said I'm not going to celebrate the fact that he's leaving again because it's a childish thing I like to see the best in people and whether I agree with the decisions that Chris Chibnall made or not I don't think he did anything with malicious intent. Again, I do believe that what he was writing he thought was the best for the show. Even if I don't think he's a good writer and I don't think that he thought he really put thought into the work he was doing or 
the history of the show or how things were going to not make sense when he made these choices. I don't think he did it with malicious intent. If it was obvious that someone was coming into the show deciding, I am on the show to ruin it. I'm on the show to get it cancelled. I don't care about Doctor Who. I don't care about anything. I would have a problem with that. But these people, whether the decisions they made or not on the show, whether they were something I liked or my dad liked or Neve li my friend Neve liked or my sister liked, they were still passionate about the show. They were still making something that they were evidently passionate about, whether we liked it or not. It's frustrating because, in my opinion, a lot of the stuff that they did do has ruined Doctor Who and ruined continuity, in my opinion. But I don't believe that they did that with the intention to ruin. I hope I'm making sense. I recently read John Nathan Turner's biography, um, the life and times, the life and scandalous times of John Nathan Turner, and he was a very contentious character in Doctor Who. He was the producer on Doctor Who from the Leisure Hive in Tom Baker's era to the show being cancelled in after survival, and. Seeing from his, from other people's point of views how much that man was passionate about the show and how much he was trying, personal life aside, his personal life was very... <laughs> there was a lot of stuff going on there that I'm not going to touch on, <laughs> but he was passionate about Doctor Who, he cared about Doctor Who, but sometimes he just couldn't hit the nail right, but he was trying to. And when I was reading Script Doctor, written by the old script editor, Andrew Cartmel, he said that he remembered walking past John Nathan Turner's office and seeing him staring at a petition in his office that the fans had made to kick him off the show because they hated him so much. Seeing that made me feel sad. Reading that made me feel sad because I couldn't help thinking it is evident that, the, that he cared about the show. It just He just couldn't make it work sometimes. During his era there were some bangers, there were some fantastic episodes, but then the show started to decline and then it obviously got cancelled and I feel like that's the same path we're heading on now with Modern Who, except the head writer job um, is getting switched over, the hands are changing all the time and I don't think there's been a consistent producer of the show the way there was in the classic era. But if there was, then I could be completely wrong. But I still feel like it's still the same kind of thing that's happening. And I feel like we're heading towards the same kind of result. I don't think the BBC will cancel Doctor Who immediately. Because I feel like in doing that, it would be like they're admitting that their decision to hire a woman was wrong. And that they messed up. And I don't think that's something the BBC will do. It's the same way that I don't think that... Ollie Alexander or Michael Sheen or anyone like that or who are being rumoured at the minute to be the next Doctor, I don't think any of them are going to end up being the Doctor. I think it'll be another woman because the BBC and whoever's in charge won't want to own up to the fact that it was possibly the wrong decision. And even if the next person who's hired does work and it does end up being a success, no matter what the writing's like, I don't know. Maybe the next head writer will resurrect it from the dead. I don't know. We don't even know who's taking on the, ne the head writer job next. Maybe they will resurrect it from the dead. Maybe they will make the show better than what it has been for like the past half a decade now, probably more. But until then, I'm going to think my prediction is that there'll be another female doctor. I do think there'll be another female doctor and I, I have no idea about the head writer job because I don't know who's been working as writers for the past couple of years and the way it happened with Stephen Moffat was that it was passed on from him and he'd already written for the show a good couple of times so I don't know about any anything like that. I'm hoping they'll be able to well do something at least for the 60th anniversary which believe it or not is coming up in a couple of years time. And 
believe it or not, I wish the best for them. I hope it works out. I hope Jodie continues to have a fruitful career after being the Doctor. I hope that Chris Chibnall finds a medium that works perfectly for his for his type of writing. I I feel like he, he has a capability, he's just maybe not in the right genre, if that makes sense. But until then, all we can do is kind of speculate. So what do you guys think? Those are my thoughts. Let me know down below. Are you happy Jodie and Chris are leaving? Are you... <laughs> are you indifferent like I am? Are you... Sad that they're leaving? Just let, let me know all your thoughts down below. And I'm sorry it was so long between my last video and now. I hope there won't be that much of a gap next time. But I'm not going to promise anything because I don't know for sure. But I will never leave without definitively saying that I'm leaving the channel for good. So keep that in mind if I'm ever gone for a really long time. And I'll see you next time, guys. And remember, try and see the good in what people are doing. And try to see that they may be trying their best, okay? Because that's what I've been trying to do recently. And it does help. It, it does help, okay? Just try to see the best in people, yeah?